Hello guys, what is up? My name is Blue Man Standing, and I have the sniffles again, so hopefully you guys can't uh, hear it too much in my voice, but I'll probably be sniffling too, so. Um, I had a suggestion, and I liked it because I didn't want to post Minecraft Survival Series episodes every day because they were running out uh, very quickly, and so every day or so I'm going to be doing a discussion video uh, Minecraft discussions, I guess you call it. Uh, I guess this one I'm just gonna be flying around the Mass, Eff Ma the Mass Effect pa mashup pack world, just talking to you guys about a subject that I thought was pertinent to today's world. And so, of course, t today's discussion topic is video games and why people play them. So, uh, if you guys want me to do any uh, other uh, discussion discussion topics that you would like me to do, I would love to do them. Just uh, leave them in the comment section below of this video, not any other video, because I won't look for them in other videos. But uh, leave it in this video, and I will try and get to it. And uh, the first person who probably comments will be the one with the discussion on the next episode. But we'll go ahead and get started, because I don't have much time. Um, so this is this is uh, this, as as you heard, this is video games and why people play them. So I think that uh, video games are an escape from reality as most of you would probably agree with me and uh, a lot of pe a lot of people have bad home life a lot of people have uh, situations in their life that don't really uh, help them in growing as a, as a personal individual and when they have a video game they can escape from their own uh, probably bad reality and go into this one Whatever game it might be, whether it's whether it's Mass Effect, Call of Duty, or just Pac-Man, you can do anything you want to and be anybody you want to be, and no one can tell you different. And that's what's so good about video games is that you're so free to do whatever you want. Especially in Minecraft, you can be whoever you want to be. You can do whatever you want to do. You can build whatever you want to be. You, you can build whatever you want you can build whatever you want to build you can do literally whatever you want you could you could get a mod you could do anything and it's great and so I'm gonna use minecraft as the main game as an example for video games that people play so um, we'll, we'll we'll start on the first little uh, I guess uh, subtopic is uh, you can be whoever you want to be uh, people who people like to play video games because they ha can be whoever they want to be, mostly because they can't in reality. It's it's more it's it's a it's like a better alternative of real life. In, in real life, you're limited to who you can be and how you can be that person that you want to be. You have to go through s tons of hard work and dedication, and most people honestly don't want to do that. Some people are lazy. Some people don't have enough money to do so, like get a proper education, proper education to be what they want to be. And, but some people just aren't smart enough. Like literally, it's not the fa it's not the fact that they're dumb. It's just the fact that they're not smart enough. They're, I mean, they're smart. Everyone's smart in their own in their own way. Like I'm smart in technology and reasoning, and my friend is smart. In science and he is a lot more smart than I am he, he can memorize anything that comes his way anything he can he literally sleeps through class and makes a hundred it's amazing but um, yeah there, there's different types of being smart and so in video games you don't really have to be smart to do anything unless you get like some special thing that requires outside knowledge to do which really doesn't, as long as you like, like, like some, it's, it, there's, there's certain tidbits, like, you could be all nitpicky, like, oh, the achievements, you don't know what to do, well, some of them are just straightforward, hey, complete this mission on story mode, and you get an achievement, uh, so that's pretty much of being yourself, and you can be whoever you want without any effort at all, literally, I'm a, I'm a Spaniard, I'm a, I'm a musketeer, if I wanted to be a squid, look, now I'm an octopus. Even better. If I wanted to be a freaking Egyptian man, I, I can I can be an Egyptian man right now. Look at that. 
so easy. It's as easy as the click of a button. I don't even know what this is. Mole rat? Ew, that's disgusting. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Alright, so, um, let's move on to the next little subtopic really quickly. Um, uh, the second topic that pe why people play video games is they can do whatever they want to do. Um, what, that's, that's probably why I'm using this uh, Minecraft as a example of people can do whatever they want to do. Other games too. Um, other games are, are leaning more towards the pick your own path, choose your own destiny type game where you can choose what you want to do and it will change the outcome of the game. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I couldn't stand it. All right. Yeah, you can you can choose the outcome of the game, and those games tend to be more popular. Like uh, PewDiePie, one of my favorite YouTubers, he's playing. Uh, he's he's I think he's about to be done with actually, but he's he's playing a game for the I think PlayStation Three called Beyond Two Souls. And either he's it's, either it's for the either it's for the PC. Or the uh, PlayStation 3. I don't know which one. But uh, he's playing that. And uh, you can choose what to say and what to do. And if you don't do something. Or if you do something. Then it changes the course of the entire story mode. Like this. I, I, won't, I won't spoil it. But if you don't say something. Then the guy gets hurt. If you do say something. Then you get you get in trouble. So that's the simple way of putting it without spoiling the story. But the point is, uh, individual choices in video games is so broad, you could literally do anything. You could kill someone if you wanted to. It's it's great. Like uh, Assassin's Creed, it, it doesn't really, you, you can't really change the story mode from what you do, but you can change how you do it. You can express your personality in what you do. A lot of jobs these days are just really standard and really concrete and you can't really do anything different when you go to work every day. And I think that's what video games takes a release to. It kind of puts a release out there for people who have the same old job every day, every hour, and they never get anything different. They just sit at the desk and do their same job every day 24 hours 7 days a week and if you if you work 24 hours a day you need to get some vacation time i'm just getting i'm just getting usually there's not hopefully there's not anybody who works 24 hours a day 7 days a week that would be terrible <laughs> well like without breaks all right so third topic or sub, third subtopic and i literally forgot the third third subtopic so let me think for a second so it was uh, be whoever you want to be, do whatever you want to do, and escape from reality. A, a lot of people's uh, people's re reality is not very fun and good, and all people's reality are, cannot be as great as they could be. And so, people use video games. Well, some people, a lot of people use different things, but uh, most people use video games to take a release from that reality take a break for t like take a break from reality that's saying and go into a whole other different world and be excited for the character that you're playing and connect with the character and be the character and it's it's it it makes the the gamer form a bond with the game you, you ever you ever Talk to a gamer one time and ask them what their favorite game was and see their see their face light up when they start talking about their new game, when they start talking about their favorite game. My favorite game in the entire world was, uh, I, I've played so many games, like, I can't tell you. Hold on, let me think about that. I think my favorite game of all time would probably be um, probably Modern Warfare 2, because it was the first Call of Duty that I ever played, and, uh, it was the greatest storyline, I didn't care about the graphics, I didn't care about 
how much I got freaking killed every single game. I sucked at Modern Warfare 2 so bad, but I, I was amazing at Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops 2. But Modern Warfare 2 is my favorite game because it got me into real gaming. And what I mean by real gaming is, for, I'm sorry, we guys, the Wii does not have good games. I mean, come on. They, they have family fun games, but if you really want to have a good quality game by yourself, it, it's the Xbox or the PS3 or even the PC that gets you that. But, uh, sorry guys, I, I, I just had to say that. I don't like the Wii at all. But, yeah, Modern Warfare 2 brought me into the realm of first-person shooters and gaming in general. And, uh... It's, it's been my favorite game ever since I bought it, ever since I, I, I still have it to this day. It's sitting on my shelf. I, I, I will never sell that game, ever. It's, it's my baby. Yeah, I still have it. It's right next to Modern Warfare 3. And so, my point is, when people connect with the character, when people connect with what you can do, with what you can be, and who you can be, it really allows a better escape from reality and that is why producers of video games put so much time and effort into video games is because they know that people try to escape reality with these video games and so they have to make them the best that they could possibly be and so if they don't then people are not going to like it because like oh they wouldn't let me choose what i wanted to choose why would they not do that there, there. You get upset because oh, I, w I wanted to do this. Oh, but you can't do that. What? That makes no sense. In Minecraft, I'm I'm coming back to this because I'm playing it right now. In Minecraft, you can literally do whatever you want, but that's not enough. What if you want to ride a horse? What if you want to ride a pig? What if you want to fly? What if you want to be in creative mode? What if you want to have pumpkins? That's why Minecraft has updates, because people want more. People want all, always, it's just a society thing that people always crave more of what they have. And if they don't have more, then they're just going to drop what they're doing and move on to the next game. And so that's why Minecraft has updates. Like, Minecraft, when I started playing it, I never thought that they would ever have horses in Minecraft. No way. But they appealed to the more Western civilizations, and not not even the Western civilizations. I I have people in my school who love horses, who would die to have one more horse. And so they put that in a game to give people a more personal relationship with their game. And they're probably going to add even more animals, even more mobs, even more entertainment into Minecraft that we could never expect. And, and that is all because escaping from reality means you do whatever you want. And doing whatever you want means adding more stuff so you can do whatever you want. So that is, that is uh, it for the discussion of uh, today. Minecraft discussions. And I guess you, you call this video games and why we play them. I'll, I'll probably just name it video games. So that is it guys. Three main points. People play video games to escape reality. To be whoever they want to be and to do whatever they want to do. I think I hope you guys agree with me. If you don't agree with me, uh, leave leave it in the comments and and tell me why people really play video games. Uh, what you what you think? Why you think people play video games? And uh, if you agree with me, that's awesome. If you don't, I would love to hear your opinion. I'm very open to other people's opinions. But I uh, hope you guys enjoy. I'm really looking forward to that next episode where we hunt the Enderman. Uh, I'm not ha I'm not getting enough time to make that video, so that's why it's not up yet. It'll probably will probably not be tonight because I have church. Uh, it might be. We'll, we'll we'll see. It'll probably be up tomorrow morning because uh, I'll probably record it tonight before church. But oh well. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, press if you liked it, press that like button so I can uh, I can know if we I could I should continue this series. This was just an experimentation thing. If, uh, if uh, you want to see your own discussions or do your own or um, see more of this, whether it's your discussion or not, please tell me in the comment section below or just leave a like. It's as simple as that. 
But, uh, yeah, guys, just leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Leave a like if you liked it. Hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you guys next time.